Welcome back. Today we're going to have a tutorial on the Microsoft Office Word 2016 and we'll see how to handle references within Office and some tools. First of all, we'll like look at all the how to add a reference source and then we'll insert a footnote and we'll insert a citation and at the end of the day we'll insert a bibliography. It's all connected to the sources which, which we'll, we will add and uh, it will be a quick tutorial how to do that. If we look at uh, a final document we will find that uh, we usually have a number one which are connected to a footnote. So if you open a document we're using justification by faith as a document just as an example they will find that uh, we've got a one there which reference to a footnote down here which have reference strong written in 1984 on page 1345 first of all how to add a source we go to reference ribbon and under reference ribbon we'll find manage sources if you click there the dialog box is opened and here you'll find all the sources I've used in the document. When you click on new, you'll find you can add a source. You can add a, and you can choose the type of source. It can be a book, a section, a journal, article, conference. There's many to choose from. So when we choose a book, it will actually give those that is required for a book. When we click on book section, there's some more fields, required fields to be filled in. If you choose journal article, it's according to the type of source, specific fields are required. You can click on this show all biblical fields if you want to fill in more fields according to the need you've got. Alright. We'll find that uh, this if you click on any of the sources I've added already, you press the edit button, you will find that the edit button will uh, bring up the same box as previously. So let's go to horn and we say edit. It's the same as the new, new button, but now it's been filled in according to what I filled in before. Here I have added a the name horn and I said add, you see. And then there's a title, now the title of the book, and then the year is published, and then also the city it's been published in, and the publisher. That's been a required field for a book source. So I can also copy it over, and as I copy it over, you'll find that my master list enlarge. This master list, which is on the left hand side, now will be available for all documents with, which are open on this computer. So on my PC, if I want to ever want to create a new, new document, these sources will be available for me to choose from. Insert a footnote. First look at our quotation, and there the quotation ends, and we insert a footnote, the creator one and we our cursor web and then it creates a one in the footnote area. And then of course we will choose now who wrote that specific quotation and it was James Strong and we choose it from the list. And this list is exactly the same list as what we've created in the managed sources. So we choose then from James Strong. We click on James Strong and automatically it adds the citation according to your style you've chosen. So here we've chosen Chicago. So according to Chicago style it's been added. But if it was a different style it would have looked differently according to the criteria of the style. So the citation has been added and if we click on the citation you'll find there's a drop down here and we can edit the citation and we can add a, add a page number. 1345 uh, was page number uh, just as an example and I say OK and the page number appears as well. So this is the way you can add a footnote and then of course if you want to add a bibliography 
I've already added it here at the end of the document but uh, let's delete it and just show you how easy it is to add the bibliography because you've already created all this all the sources um, in managed sources you just go and you say bibliography of course your cursor must be at the point where you want to insert it you click on bibliography and you type, click on bibliography again and it automatically adds it exactly according to the criteria of Chicago and the sources is added but here you will find that the comma is the right place the point the points are and the italic and so forth everything according to the style you've chosen the bibliography will automatically be generated thank you for spending your time and uh, understanding how footnotes work together with many sources until next time